this row from this row. So this becomes multiply across by minus one. This becomes minus, 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 minus all the way down. And we're going to add them together. So over here, we end up with Sn minus B times Sn must be equal to, well, you can see that these all cancel out. So the B and the minus B cancel. The B squared and the minus B squared cancels. The B cubed and the minus B cubed cancels. So this is like a method of differences just laid out a little bit differently. The B to the N minus 2 cancels. The B to the N minus 1 cancels. And what we're left with is two values. So we're left with 1 minus B to the, to the N. We're left with this 1 and this minus B to the N. And then we can solve this for Sn, the sum of the N terms. So we have this is Sn times 1 minus B. When we take the Sn out common, must be equal to 1 minus B to the N. And therefore we have, therefore we have Sn must be equal to 1 minus b to the n all over 1 minus b. So if we go back to our nth term, okay, so from the previous, from the previous, the previous page, uh, we have that a to the n is simply equal to, it's equal to b to the n times a0 uh, plus c times, and it's b to the n minus 1 plus b to the n minus 2 plus all the way down, uh, plus b squared, plus b, uh, plus 1. We've just figured out what this summation is, the Sn. Sn is this value here. So we have this. So we have An is equal to b to the n a0 plus c times this summation here, which is 1 minus b to the n over 1 minus b. Okay? And we could we could simplify this around, but let's just let's just leave it at that. Leave it at that. The key point here also to know is that we're dividing by one minus b. So this solution only works. So it only works. Okay, this only works when b is not equal to one. Okay, so this only works when b is not equal to one. But effectively, what we have we have identified here is a closed form solution. Okay, closed form solution for the recurrence. A n is equal to b to the a to the n minus one plus c, where we're given a zero is a specific a specific value. Now, in a previous video, I looked at a number of cases. Okay, I looked at the case when b was actually equal to one and c was equal to zero. Okay, uh, and we found this we found the solution. So we've we've dealt with the case when b is equal to one. Okay, and uh, we know what that looks like. Okay, uh, when c is equal to zero. Okay, when c is equal to zero, so the case, so the case of the recurrence of the recurrence of the form a n is equal to b b times a to the n minus one. C is zero, so this all falls off, and we have that a n must be equal to b to the n times a zero. So we've we've also shown we've also shown well we actually haven't shown this one here but this particular fact here this this linear homogeneous system okay this recurrence okay uh, has closed form an is equal to b to the n a zero this heterogeneous this is what we solve for here we solve for the heterogeneous case okay this linear heterogeneous recurrence has a general form that looks like this here so if you're given a recurrence that looks like this let's say for example let's say for example, let's say we have the recurrence uh, a to the n is equal to, let's say, uh, let's say it's equal to 3 times a to the n minus 1 plus, let's say, plus 5. Okay? Well, its closed form solution, a n, would be equal to, well, the b value is 3, so it's 3 to the n times a 0, okay, plus 5, it's 5 times 1 minus, well, b is 3, so it's 1 minus 3 to the n all over one minus minus three, okay? And you could solve, you know, so I suppose you could simplify this out to give you something a little bit a little bit neater, okay? uh, But the main point here is this, is that what we've shown in this particular, in this particular video is we've solved the heterogeneous case uh, recurrence, the linear degree one heterogeneous recurrence relation. We found a closed form solution for it. And that heterogeneous, a solution, okay, when C is equal to zero becomes the homogeneous case, uh, which is effectively A n is equal to B to the n times A zero. Okay, that was pretty quick, that video. Uh, I mean, I was sort of motoring through here, but I think at this particular stage, we've probably, we've probably sort of, uh, we've probably uh, copped on to, to, to what's going on in relation to 
the algebraic, the standard algebraic manipulations. Okay, guys, uh, once again, this was Jonathan Lambert with Maths and Stats. This video was another video in a series of videos dealing with recurrence relations. And I hope that this was in some way intuitive. And more importantly, I hope that was helpful. And thanks for watching. Okay, bye-bye.